Muhammad Yusuf Abdulaziz grew up in this middle-class neighborhood in Chattanooga. He had four sisters. He was the only son. His parents, Yusuf and Razmia, are Palestinians from Jordan who moved to the U.S. and became American citizens. But there was turmoil inside the family home. In 2009, Muhammad's mother filed for divorce, claiming in court documents her husband abused her and the children and even threatened to take a second wife in their, quote, native state of Palestine. The suit was dropped and the parents signed an agreement that the husband agrees to not inflict any personal injury, harm or insult upon the wife or upon any of the children of their marriage. Abdulaziz went on to college, graduated with an electrical engineering degree in 2012. According to a resume he posted online, he worked at several internships. It was during this time he was also traveling to the Middle East. Jordanian officials confirm Mohammed Abdulaziz had an extended visit in 2014. And a close friend tells CNN, Abdulaziz came back a changed man. He distanced himself, the friend said. And though they'd known each other since they were five years old, he says he never became close to me like he was before he went overseas. At a news conference Friday, the FBI confirmed it was looking into Abdulaziz's overseas travels, his possible connections, but so far says there is no one else involved. We have no indication that he was inspired by or directed by anyone other than himself. In the past three months, Abdulaziz took a new job and moved to the Nashville area. His most recent photo from a mugshot taken in April when he was arrested for DUI. Almir Dizdarovic saw Abdulaziz just last month. I said, brother, how are you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. How's everything? You're doing all right? Smiling, laughing, talking to me, no problems. And another guy just talked on the phone about a case. He said he saw him just a day ago at a local store, and he said absolutely nothing. He was shaking hands, saying, you know, how are you doing? Everything's fine. Friends confirmed to CNN Abdulaziz had returned to Chattanooga this week to visit his family, prayed with them during this final week of Ramadan. One told us he was here at this mosque just this past weekend. Today, on one of the most festive days in the Muslim year, the mosque is closed. A sign on its door states, the families of the victims are in our thoughts and prayers.